Well, hello and good morning everyone. Good to have another opportunity of talking with you again. Hope you're well and that uh, you are knowing the blessing of the Lord day by day. I'd just like to direct your attention this morning to John's Gospel. And in the fifth chapter, we're told there that there was a feast of the Jews in Jerusalem. And Jesus went up, as was his custom. It is recorded in the Bible and other places that when there was a feast or a celebration, Jesus went. We remember he went to the wedding in Cana of Galilee and turned the water into wine. What a difference his presence made. Everything was changed. There's that transforming power that comes when Jesus is present with us. And we're told in the fifth chapter of John's Gospel <clears throat> that Jesus had gone up to Jerusalem. Now, in Jerusalem, by the sheep market, there was, we are told, a pool of water, which in Hebrew was called Bethesda. There were five porches around this pool of water. And in these porches, there were a great many people who were sick and afflicted in many and various ways. And they were there waiting because from time to time, it was reputed that an angel went down to the pool and stirred up the water, troubled the water, that's what it says. And whoever got into the water immediately after the troubling would be healed. Now there was this man there and he'd been there a long, long time, almost a lifetime you might say. He'd been in that situation for 38 years and Jesus spoke to him and asked him, do you want to be made whole? And the impotent man said, Sir, you know, he acknowledged the Lord Jesus. Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I'm trying to get down, somebody else comes, they're healed, and I'm left in this terrible condition. And Jesus spoke to him. This is what he said. Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately we're told the man was made whole and he took up his bed and he walked and it was a Sunday. It was the Lord's day, the Sabbath day. The Jews who were always looking to cause trouble for Jesus, always trying to undermine his authority or to do him some mischief, said to the man that was cured, this is a Sunday. What are you doing? carrying your bed now the jews had so many many laws concerning sabbath observance they were all man-made uh, laws but they were important to them and they would victimize those who didn't obey them and this is what he said he said well the man who cured me the man who made me whole said to me, take up your bed and walk. And they said, well, what man is it? And he that was here didn't know that it was Jesus, for Jesus had gone away from that situation. But Jesus found the man in the temple later on and said to him, you're made whole. Make sure you don't sin again don't make sure you don't get into further difficulty and uh, the jews started to persecute jesus because he'd done this on the sabbath but jesus answered my father worketh hitherto and i therefore work now they were angry because not only had he told the man to do this on the Sunday, but now they're upset because he claimed that God is his father. They sought the more to kill him because he did not only break the Sabbath,
but that God was his father. And Jesus said unto them, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he saith the father do. Now God is working all the time. He's working out his purpose. And Jesus is working out his purpose. And his purposes will ripen fast, unfolding every hour. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. For God is able to do all things, and he is able to make all grace abound to you and to me. Jesus is the name we honour. Jesus is the name we praise. There is no greater name than Jesus, name of him who came to save us. And we can do all things in his name. And so I pray.